Hello everyone, it's Red with RedDragonLeo.com. It is Monday, the 9th of May. Uh, it looks like today we have uh, pretty much went up and uh, put in, I wouldn't say a, a midway point as compared to this previous uh, sell-off that I was looking at, kind of comparing what possibly could happen here. And I'm not saying the identical thing is going to happen. We're going to have a flash crash this week, but it certainly is possible, especially with all the the ritual stuff going on with um, May 11th. Uh, you know, 5 11 11 is um, an important date for the Illuminati who control the stock market. As as you know, that's when they attack Japan uh, with their heart machine or nuclear bombs planted on the. Um, seabed uh, under the water with submarines in the fault line. They probably did a combination of both, I would say, but uh, uh, they did that on uh, March the 11th, and so now it is May the 11th coming up this week. We also have Friday the 13th coming up, and that's the only one we have for the year. So are they going to use that wild card or not? I do not know. That's a good question. But right now, it uh, it is looking bearish. It, it, while we could go up here some more, there's no question about it, we could go up more and, and put in a little bit higher topping tail. You see how that tail is right here? It was halfway for the previous week. This is the weekly chart here, so it was halfway for the pre previous week. Well, we're not quite halfway. We're stuck right here at probably about a third or uh, of the way up. But um, so, you know, what I'm looking here for is then to stage a big rally and move this thing on up if that's what their plan is to go on up to the fake print of um, 1388 approximately on the spy I mean on the SPX because the spy fake print is again 138.86 so it's approximately 1388 no uh, no guarantee that they're going to hit that print and roll over at that print only that they will hit that at some point so are, are we going to sell off first and then go for that uh, as a rally, you know, later into the summer before we finally roll over into uh, October and really crash? That's a possibility. So, you know, we literally could come down here and and maybe put in a double bottom right here at uh, 1250 over the next week or two, and uh, and then then run back up throughout the. June, July, August months, and at that point, you know, you, you we could hit that fake print. Nothing to say that it's got to hit it now. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, you know, from the looks of this down move, and it's this really is kind of a slightly up pattern. This is a um, a bear flag. You could have another day of it or another day of it. It's possible. It it did uh, curl back up, and but that is to be expected. When you come down hard here, you hit the 50 line, and and you go back up here on the RSI, that is to be expected. Uh, we're looking for a big move. As you can see here on the ADX line, it's buried right here, below 15, above 10, about 12, I guess. So it is, uh, it is ready to curl back up and take either the negative DI line with it or the positive. DI line. So either the market's going to rally hard and this thing's going to go up or it's going to sell off hard. I think it's going to sell off hard. Uh, even though it, it does look like it's curling back up here, and it, it could. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it can't. It could curl back up here and go up here for the next week or two and put in a negative divergence here as we roll over here with a tower that is smaller than this, but the, but the market would actually go up higher. That's why you have the negative divergence. So it takes out this high, goes on up there to the fake print, and that is possible. You know, we see this trying to curl back up on the uh, daily. Uh, you know, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Look on the weekly here. The weekly is still struggling to get above the zero markets. Just stay in here. Uh, you know, is it going to have the strength to curl and go back up? Look at the uh, full stochastics. The full stochastics it's rolling over on. So, is it in it? You know, is it going to have the strength to curl and go back up this week? Um, 
I don't know. I really don't think it is. I really don't think it is. And, um, you know, when you're already up here at uh, such a high level that you're at right here, this is about the 36 or something where these two moving averages are, 36, 38. It's, it's a little bit tougher to, to get the momentum to rally up when you're already so high. If it would come down here to zero, then recycle back up, then yes, you know, then you can get some momentum to go back up. But when you're already up there at that high, it, it just doesn't have that much strength to, uh, to stage a, a really, really big rally. Uh, but could it stage it on up to 1388? Yeah, it could do that. I just don't think it's going to. I just don't think it's going to, folks. So I think we're going to head down this week. And I think today or tomorrow may may have put in the high for this week. Uh, you know, the, the bulls are going to have to bust out of this channel. I had said this in the weekend video that I did on Sunday that we would go up here possibly and, and come back down or that we could go down here first and then possibly come back up. So it's looking to me like since they went up first that they're going to come down hard in a wave three. They could have probably completed this down move had they just went on down here, hit this support right here around this 1320 in this line, and then started to work their way back up. They probably could have completed it, but at this point, it's not looking good. They rallied up today, hit a lot of resistance there, could not uh, go above it into the close. Um, it is sideways consolidation, so it's a bull flag. So they have to gap it out of it tomorrow. So you got to gap it and gap it and go. You're going to have to run hard. Can they do it? Sure. You know, they got POMO going on, but will they do it? That's the question. Remember, the gangsters just had their meeting uh, with the Legatus pilgrimage last week, and it concluded. They've been selling off ever since then. So. I think they want to take it down further um, so they don't want to gap it out. You know, this is all about what they want. They sold at the top. They want to buy at a better price. So this is not very much of a drop for them. When you're talking about big institutions going from 1370 down to 1340, come on, that's 30 points. They'd like to get it 100 points lower when you're talking about a big move with the Legatus uh, and that. And, that. So, um, and then look up here at the the charts also support it because look at the the RSI here. It did curl over there to the close. Could it go on up higher? Yeah, it could. But um, I, I just really think it's going to roll over tomorrow. I think it's going to roll down here. We're going to run down here and probably hit. Uh, uh, this may give us some temporary support on this line right here. Uh, but ultimately, I think we're going to hit this uh, 1320, this gap window right here. Um, of course, you would expect it to hit this trend line. And uh, for the first um, uh, area of support, because that's a major trend line, okay? So it might not break that tomorrow if it goes down. So it's really got two ways to go. It's either got to gap up and go and stage a big rally uh, and roll this daily chart back up. Again, here's the daily. It's going to to roll it back up and look at where they're at already. Again, we're already up here in kind of overbought territory. You're up here at 10 yeah, you can go to 15, but again, the biggest moves on the rally occur when you're down below here, when you're either at zero or negative five or even negative 10, and then, man, you got a big rally going. But when you're already up here to extended levels, it's tougher to go on a big rally up. And um, so there's lots of room for this to run down to at least zero, if not go negative and go, you know, negative five, negative 10. So that... Um, and also the 60-minute chart. Look at it as well. You can see that it did go down here, and we're struggling right here at negative uh, 2.5. As I said previously, we could continue on down to negative 10 before it really gets overbought, um, oversold, and then you would expect a big rally to happen at that point. I don't know what level that's going to be at, but it could be pretty deep, obviously. Um, but you'd expect some type of big, big move back up. Right now, this is almost putting in the equivalent of a, a bear flag. I mean, you, I don't know if you really call it on the MACD lines, but it's down and, and like this. So it's not going really hard up uh, like this move here. 
so it, it just leads you to believe that it's very weak on its move up. It's running out of room here. You can draw a line right here. You can see it can come back here, bounce, run back up. And at some point, it's going to break that line. And once it will break that line, it's going to fall down hard. I think it's going to do it tomorrow. There's all kinds of little indicators here showing that uh, this thing is ready to roll over again and roll back down deeper, as well as this right here. Yeah, it's very weak on the move up. Um, it, it, it Put it this way. If they gap it out of here and run, it's 100% manipulated. It's not normal to do that. There's no economic reason to do it. It will be manufactured. It will be just the gangsters. The charts say bearish, that we should be falling. We should hit this. We hit this trend line today that we should fall back down. That's just that's just the bottom line there. That's a lot of resistance. The same thing on this right here. You draw the trend line. Yes, it's up. It's sideways consolidation. And that's a bull flag. But understand, um, it's running out of juice. It's rolling over here on the on the 30. It has moved up quite a bit from negative five up to zero now. You'd expect it to roll back down any time now. It is turning turn over on the full stochastics. There's all kinds of indications saying that it's time to roll over. It has made a move from below 30 on up to uh, 53 or something right there, uh, above the 50 mark. So could it go on up? Yes, but I don't think it will. Uh, you draw a line here, and then you draw a line here, and you have a, a, a triangle. Uh, and the triangles are generally, not always, they're generally continuation patterns of the previous move, and that would be down. Could it gap up? Yes, it could. But I, I just, uh, I don't think they want it to. I, I really don't. Here's a really good look at the bull flag. So up, sideways consolidation. But uh, again, it's rolling down. Uh, it's looking at getting to be oversold. It'd be oversold pretty quickly here on any gap down in the morning. And you'd expect the gap down in the morning to kind of run back up and try to fill it. At least get halfway up, I would suspect, if it gaps down hard in the morning. That obviously would bury this. Um, this would get buried. And then you'd expect it to turn back up there and try to fill the gap. Uh, but this is a 15-minute chart. This is kind of short term. Same thing here. Up, sideways consolidation, bull flag appears to want to roll up, but I don't give a lot of strength to the five-minute chart, not with everything else, not with the resistance and the channel that this is in, the uh, everything else being weak. Um, I, I just, you know, I don't see it. With this down, sideways consolidation, I think it can go down much easier than it can go up. And um, so, you know, that's uh, that's my thoughts, is that uh, we're either going to do one of two things. We're going to gap up here and run. I find that the the lowest odds, but, uh, you know, you, don't, you can expect anything from these gangsters because they'll, they'll fool you. They will fool you. Anyway, if you, uh, um, if not, then it will just, it should just fall back down. And that's really what I'm expecting, is for it to fall back down. That is it, gang. Um, I will see you later.